Hi everybody, I'm Dan Wells. I write horror, fantasy, and science fiction, and I talk about games on the internet. Today I'm going to talk about Heroes and Villains, which is a supplement for the 7th C role-playing game. 7th C is a very narrative, very interesting, cool um, role-playing system based on like a fake magical Europe. It's all swashbuckling, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Three Musketeers kind of idea, um, and it is really fun. What Heroes and Villains is, is basically just a catalog of NPCs to throw into your games if you need them. That's all it is. Um, I find it really fun to read through for ideas and for suggestions about how you can use the setting and all of the different character types and different stories that can be told with the rule system. It works really well if you uh, think the game sounds fun, you think the setting sounds cool, but you're not certain what to do with it. This gives you a lot of fantastic examples of what to do with it. More than that though, and I think its primary usage, is just you need somebody to throw into your game, a hero or a villain, here you go. There's a bunch of them. Let's take a look really quick at what the thing looks like. Get a close-up of it there. Um, so, down inside, ah, stop doing that. One page per thing. Okay, so here it is. It splits heroes into five categories. Indomitable, deft, tactician, steadfast, and trickster. And then villains into five categories as well. It sort of kind of map onto the same ones. Beast, Chameleon, Mastermind, Juggernaut, and Deranged. I guess the only ones that really map is Tactician to Mastermind, Steadfast to ju Juggernaut, but anyway. Uh, and then each one has six or so uh, heroes and six or so villains. And this is really fantastic because let's say that uh, you're playing a game. I'm running a campaign of 7th C right now. I need to have some villain that I can throw in. Well, it's easy to look in here and say, well, do I want a chameleon bad guy? Someone who is hiding, working behind the scenes, difficult to recognize? Or do I maybe want a mastermind? Someone who is behind the scenes, pulling strings and ordering people around? Uh, there's a lot of great ideas. Let's just pick one at random. Let's take a look at uh, this juggernaut villain and select. The... Uh, point of a juggernaut is someone who is unstoppable. A villain who is going to come in, cause a bunch of problems, and is just absolutely relentless. And Celette is one who is uh, interesting in that it's a girl. Let's get the uh, thing. Young girl who was uh, basically taken as hostage by one family to keep another family in line during the War of the Cross. Something that was kind of common back in 16th century Europe, uh, and or 17th century, either way. What the difference here is that the family, her own family that sent her off as a hostage, they never bothered getting her back again when the war was over. And so this poor, you know, she spent 10 years from young girl to now teenager. She is uh, free and she is hell bent on revenge. And so she is just out to cause people problems. She's going to hunt down all the people that captured her and held her and treated her so poorly. And she's going to hunt down her own family. And she's going to hunt down anyone who gets in the way. And so there's, uh, you know, it has all of her powers. It has all of her stats. And then it has this full backstory with schemes, different things that she is going to do. And there's lots of different ways to get your characters involved in this problem. Um, they can stop her, maybe they could help her, depending on where they're aligned with this situation morally. Uh, maybe one of their families was connected to one of the families that hurt her, and so now the people are after, now, now, now that she is after one of the players as well. So there's a lot of good things you can do there. Let's take a look at one of the heroes. Um, very f early ones here in the book. These are all the indomitable heroes, uh, the ones who are, you know, the, the brave and true and the ones that are trying to do great things. Um, this is uh, 
it's it's just got a lot of really cool every single one of them you can see has art has this fantastic art uh, describes all the stuff gives you can see the heroes get full character stats so you could actually use these as characters if you're gonna do a one-shot game uh, with your friends or at a convention or something and you need to be able to get into the game quick you just print these out hand them to your friends and you're ready to go uh, the heroes aren't as easy to work in otherwise but if you do need an NPC for something, if you need um, perhaps a rival who uh, is trying to stop the same bad guy and, and you want to be able to stop them first, or if you just need someone that they can talk to, um, there's you know all of these great uh, heroes in here. And then, of course, the villains are, I think, the more valuable ones. There's really not much to say without giving everything away of who these people are, um, but I really enjoy this book. It is uh, kind of a minor thing, but it, is, it makes running the game so easy if you have these to uh, just open it up and say, here you go, you know, I'll turn to any page in here and you're going to get a great character with a great backstory that you can slot right into your game to do whatever it is you need. So, hooray! This is the Heroes and Villains book for 7th C. It is a fantastic supplement, and uh, if you're going to be running a 7th C game, this is one that I would recommend you pick up. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next review.